Hey everybody, Detective Fun Guy here. We're gonna pet, we're gonna do another propane tutorial today. For this, I, 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 got, I got a Space Marine Assault Terminator, primed in white, and today we're gonna to learn how to paint the power armor of the Imperial Fists. So without further ado, let's get this bit of a tutorial started. So for here, I got some Iand and yellow contrast paint, so let's begin. Check out the contrast paints. Now this is a white undercoat, so this is perfect for the for the yellow. Okay, so let me make sure. Might be a little thick. Let me check. Did it down a touch. That's all we need. Okay, so for this, you got to be very careful. Don't mind the shield, but try to get it right. So for right here, what we're going to do is going to gently go over the ar all over the armor with the yellow. Don't worry about the if you get it on the Aquila. We're going to fix that later. Just put this yellow all over the bottle and just make sure it doesn't pull in any recesses like right here. There we go. Perfect. So for this part, and we're going to here focus on the torso. Now you do have to be very careful with this. Just be a little careful. There you go. Nice gentle strokes and make sure it's a decent coat of paint. There we go. Not too thick, but just make sure it doesn't pull in any of the recesses. Like this part right here, just soak it up. Perfect. And uh, we're going to leave the helmet white because that's how you can do for life white uh, for Imperial Fist. But let's see. This part right here. Be careful. Be very, very careful. There we go. Perfect. And the shoulder pads. Almost missed a spot. There we go. And the reason why I'm going in this sort of motion is that way I can absorb the paint while it's not pool while it's pool while it's not pooling at the same time. Okay, there we go. That's the yellow power armor dried. All right, so now we're gonna wait for this yellow part to dry, and then we'll be right back to it. All right, now with the with the yellow now drying, we we can do one more detail while we're waiting for it to dry. So we're gonna work on we're gonna work on the white helmet. So for the helmet, we're gonna use another contrast paint. Let me make sure I find the right one. Is this it? Yes, it is. Okay. Oops. Good thing my flesh on didn't get wet. <laughs> so for this, we're gonna take another contrast paint, apothecary white. So check out the paint. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, take some apothecary white and put it on our brush, on our palette. That's a, that's a little much, put a little bit back in the pot. There we go. Thin down with a little bit of water because we don't want this to overpower the white. Just a thin coat. So what we're going to do is this. If you look on the white helmet, what we're going to do is very add this thin mix to the helmet. There we go. That's all. There you go. That's the white. That's the helmet. Why helmet shaded? There we go. All right, with the helmet now shaded, we're going to wait for the other parts to dry, and then we'll get started. So, for the other parts, um, we are going to do the shield. So, for the shield, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, for the shield, you can leave you can leave yellow, but I'm going to do a different a different version. So, what we're going to do is this. Oh, for this, we're going to take another kind of contrast paint, Black Legion. 
So what we're going to do, take some Black Legion, shake it up, and right here. So take some Black Legion, put it on our palette like so, or table. This is just a table. So what we're going to do is this. So if you look onto the parts where we hit the yellow, for this we're going to leave the shield like this. So for the shield, basically what we're going to do is going to do this. Paint around the white parts of the shield. Try not to get it onto the white, but if you do, you can just fix it later. And uh, in the codex, you could leave this yellow, you could leave this white if you, or you paint this yellow. But I just want to go with black so that way the shield kind of stands off from the power armor. This is just my own spin on it. <laughs> Okay, that's the black part done for that part. So take some more Black Legion, and we're also going to paint in the holster right here. So what we're going to do paint this part black. And just be very careful where you paint it. And we're also going to do the helmet filters right here. And we're also going to do these cords black with Black Legion. And there we go. A little more. Some wires. And also, we're going to paint the Crux Terminatus with this. Uh, so let me be careful with this. Thin down my contrast paint a little bit so it flows. This, so watch this. And this part right here in between the armor, and there we go. You can also do the vents like this as well. Just try not to get any. All right, there we go. All right, now, with that part done, we're now ready to go to start highlighting the yellow armor. But first, we're going to do one more last... Oh, I almost forgot. So, while this dries, I'll be right back. All right, and now the last contrast paint we're going to add is for the Aquila, which is going to be red. So, for this part, we're going to use a contrast paint. For this, we're going to use Flesh Terror's Red. So, check up the contrast paints, like always. Okay, so, my Flesh Terror's probably the red is a little thick, so I do have to thin it down slightly. Actually, no, it isn't. So, for this, we're going to go on to the Aquila, to the Aquila the Chest Eagle. It's a little hard to see on the camera, but let me focus it. So watch this. And try not to get this on the yellow, but if you do, just try to tidy up with some white and then go right back over with him with I end in yellow. Oh, and they actually did make a new paint for this. There we go. That's the Aquila done. They made a new contrast paint called Imperial Fist. I would have gotten that, but I just wanted to stick with I end in yellow because it's what I got. <laughs> Okay, so now, here comes the tricky part. 
we're now going to start highlighting. So for the highlights, basically we're going to go over the yellow armor. So for the yellow armor, we're going to go over some parts. So for this, let me just shake up my bottle. We're going to use Uriel Yellow. Take some Uriel Yellow. This paint is a little thick, so I do need to thin it down a little bit. So let's go get this. Uh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Close the pot. So basically what we're gonna do is gonna focus on the flat armor panels. So for right here, like on his uh, bottom part right here, we're gonna hide, we're gonna go over that with Yurio Yellow. Nice thin coat. And same for over here. Let me make sure this is dry. Yes it is, this panel is dry, perfect. Flat armor panel. Now for the uh, for the armor uh, for the shoulder pads. A little off camera, just give me a second. Okay, and now for the smaller parts, we're going to switch to a smaller brush. So, for this, I'm going to take this and add a thin layer. All right, there we go. We're gonna let this first coat dry and then we'll come back with the second coat. Okay, for the next part, before we add the second coat, we're gonna add a little bit of the color to the weapon handle. For this, we're gonna take a contrast paint, Doomfire Magenta. So, let's check with the contrast paints. Okay, take some Doomfire Magenta. We're gonna use this to this brush, put some on the palette. Doomfire Magenta is more of a pinkish, uh, like red, well, hence the name Magenta, but look, this is perfect, look. Put this all over the handle of the weapon, like so, and the edge of this part right here. And there we go. Perfect, alright, that's the handle of the weapon done. Alright, now we're going to let this dry, and I'll be right back. All right, for the next part, we're gonna tidy up some, so some some parts. So, for this, we're gonna take, go back to Corax White. So, well, I haven't done Corax White yet, but that was because I primed the model in white. So, what we're gonna do, take some Corax White, and fix where we hit the, where we hit the, uh, where we hit the white on the shield earlier. So, right here. And that's it. Oh, and also this little white skull right here. Perfect. While we're waiting for the next part, we're going to paint the eye lenses. So for this, we're going to take Sotek Green. So you could, of course, paint the lenses however you want. I just, I want to, I just want to use Sotek Green for this tutorial. Perfect. Okay, so for this part, it's very simple. We're going to do... Oh, let me make sure there's no almost no paint on it. Perfect. So what we're going to do is this. 
Pain in the eyes, on the lenses. There we go. That's the eyes. That's the eye lenses painted. Oh, you know what? Let's go. With, let's go with the lights right here on his little shoulder. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So let me get a little bit of that dry, and we'll be right back. All right. Now for the next part, we're going to use a dry brush. For this, we're going to use Flash Gets Yellow. Let me make sure if I make sure that this is a good brush. Are the paint still good? Yes, it is. Perfect. Make sure not to get too much on my brush. Good thing I actually didn't, thank God. Okay, so let me wipe off most of the paint. Like this. Wipe it off mostly on, on a paper towel. Okay, now with most of the paint off, we're going to start highlighting. So for this part, we're going to go over all over the armor. So for like this. It's a very subtle highlight, but that's perfect. All right, so now, with that done, now, what we're gonna do is gonna add some extra depth. I'll be right back. Now, for the next part, this is more of an optional step, but we're gonna do it anyway, just for added detail. So, for this, we're gonna take a contrast paint. Gore Grunt of Fur. So, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start adding, adding in-depth shading to the, to the miniature. So, for this, we're gonna, we're gonna thin it down a little bit. So, watch this. Take some Gore Grunt of Fur. Put it on the palette after I shake, shook it up, of course. And we're going to thin it down a little bit. So what we're going to do is this. So we're going to paint in the recesses like so. And just add a little bit like more in depth, just kind of like this. You don't have to do it like this. I'm just doing it like this just to give more. Uh, added flair, so. on the feet. And the last part we need to shade is this part right here, is the top part. So this is gonna be a little difficult, but don't worry. So watch this. Go right here. We are gonna go over the other, other, the whole panel. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that in just a second as soon as it dries. All right, while we're waiting for that to dry, we're gonna start hiding the white on the helmet. For this, we're gonna use white scar. So, what we're gonna do is this. So, check out the white scar, like I just did. Put it on the palette. We're gonna do this. So, if you look at the white, like right here, we're gonna do this. So, like this. I'm going to highlight the edges of the helmet of the helmet. So like this part like right here. So for the helmet, if you can see right here, I'm going to highlight the edges of the helmet. Okay, so and now we're going to highlight this uh, part of the white and there we go. There we go. That's the white. Uh, that's the white highlighted. And while that's drying, we're going to paint the skull on the shield. You could use gold, but since this, uh, this miniature is yellow, I'm going to use Flesh Terror's red. So let's get started. Get to return back to Flesh Terror's red. Put some on the palette, just a little bit. And what we're going to do is this: just go all over the skull and try not to hit the white. Don't worry if you do; you can just fix it over with the white. But it will be a pain. It will be a pay real pain to do.
like that, and I'll fix it in just a second as soon as this paint dries. Well, let me make sure I get all the bits. There we go, perfect. All right, and while we're waiting for that to dry, we're gonna start, <laughs> we're gonna paint the silver on the model. So for this, for the silver, what we're gonna need is a coat. So there's a coat of iron hand steel. So I'm gonna, I like to save the metallics last so that way I don't contaminate my water pot. So we're gonna take a smaller brush, uh, make sure that I find it, and I almost just burp, excuse me. Excuse me, okay. Uh, let's see. Where did I just put that? Oh, <laughs> it was right in front of me. So what we're gonna do is this. Take some iron hand steel and put it on the palette like so. So for this part, what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna start painting the hammerhead and that's pretty much it for the, all the silver and the handle right here. All right, and that's all the and that's all the silver duh, base coated. All right, and as promised, we're gonna fix some of the shading that messed up. So we're gonna go back to Uriel Yellow. So what we're gonna do this: take some Uriel Yellow like so, and put it on the palette, thin it down a little bit, so that way we don't so that way we don't get block anything. What we're gonna do is this: so go over the areas that you may have overspilled with uh, Gorgonta fur. Needs a little more thick paint. All right, there we go. That's that. That uh, that's that highlighted, or fixed. <laughs> now we're gonna fix the white. So what we're gonna do? Take some Corax white. So where is it? Uh, I'm pretty sure I just had it. And where'd it go? And I dropped one of my brushes. No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, oh, here it is. I thought it was the white scar. All right. So take some Corax.